What's up everybody, Durak back at it again with another video. I was originally going to release a big information dump to let you guys know what's going on with Hell Let Loose, but due to the holidays, I see that that's now just impossible. But never fear, that video will come out eventually. Instead, what we're going to do is talk about a change that came to the map size that the developer decided to do. Me personally, I honestly didn't think of it as such a big deal, but a couple of my subscribers had asked me to look into it, so I thought, all right, let's look at it and see what's going on. The part that they had wanted me to talk about reads as follows. Map size. We know there are ongoing discussions around this, so we want to give some quick insight as to why we have made the decision to keep a narrower 1.2 kilometer wide, three sector wide front line. Our closed alpha testing provided a chance for us to test some fundamental metagame design decisions early in the development. Our closed alpha testing provided a chance for us to test some fundamental metagame design decisions early in the development process. After playing, we realized that the breadth of the map broke several key gameplay aspects that are crucial to creating a World War II experience, one that is defined by a tangible front line and the tug of war over territory. Put simply, when the map was 2 kilometers wide, our player density on the front line was lowered to 5 players per 200 meters, when every single player was on the front line and playing infantry. After introducing artillery, AT guns, armor, and numerous other non-frontline related roles and functions, leading to battles of very few players for enormous pieces of territory. Or even worse, both teams bypassing each other and racing to the other base. The size of the landscape meant artillery would struggle to make a meaningful impact, tanks and other vehicles would often be alone, and infantry battles would compromise of only a few soldiers. Players could lay mines and the enemy would be able to easily bypass them. As you can imagine, that is a critical issue when trying to emulate the high highly iconic frontline warfare of World War II, and an even bigger issue when we managed to make a 50 versus 50 experience feel smaller than the 12 player game. We have tested the current size thoroughly alongside the new strong points, and have found that the metagame and general experience now mirrors an epic World War II struggle, with a tangible frontline that awards tactically astute players for breaking through and creates interesting strategic decisions for both teams as they approach different terrain, fortifications, bottlenecks, and killing fields. So I gotta say I'm not a fan of making maps smaller because this is effectively what it would do it would make this into this I always liked the idea of hearing battles in the distance and wondering if we were winning or not. Kind of like that one episode of uh, the Pacific where the soldiers are on the beach and there's a battle raging on in the ocean in the distance and the boys that are on the beach are being really optimistic that their ships are winning and come morning they find the harsh reality. That's what I would like to feel, you know? It happens a lot in squad when I think that we might be winning on a specific side of the map but then I look at the map and we got pushed back and it's like, oh no! But on the other hand, I actually liked what the devs wrote here and if it's as they say, then I think I'm going to enjoy what's actually on the table because who knows maybe it is gonna be epic Maybe it is gonna be big battles. Maybe there's gonna be guts and ass flying everywhere We'll know once we get into the beta. All right Well, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. bye Oh, and uh, don't forget that I will make a bigger video that does like a gigantic dump of information for hell let loose But that's gonna be like probably after the holidays. So thanks everybody for coming out to watch and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. -bye.